Hi everybody, welcome back to the Tetrix RoboVentures video series. I'm Tim with uh, Pitsco Education and I'm here again with Ray. And we're going to talk a little bit more about the WheelieBot. Um, we mentioned in one of our earlier videos that one of the really nice things about the WheelieBot was the ease in modifying this. And this is a starting robot for us, right? Yes. So what we're going to do today is, is expand a little bit on that. And Ray, we've got our WheelieBot here. And tell us before you begin, what, what are you going to do with this? We're going to uh, change the, the drive system. Right now it's a direct drive. Every time the servo turns around, the wheel turns one, one rotation. We're going, to rota we're going to switch this around so that we can make this, this robot move faster. Okay, so the so goal is to, to get a little more speed. Get a little more speed. And we're going to do that by... By adding gears. Adding gears to it, okay. And one of the things that, that um, go ahead and just mention, you've already made a minor change. I made change a minor change. I set the battery back just a little farther back, closer to the back, which the location of that battery is not a big deal. Okay. It's just, it's, you know, in, in the builder's guide, we, we put it in one location. As long as it doesn't interfere with the operation of anything, put it anywhere you So can there's going to be a little latitude sure. in the way they build this, and it really probably is not going to affect the function, right? Right. Right from the get. Okay. So let's go ahead and, and walk me through as you're doing this. Let's okay. go ahead and we've, start. We've in. added a, a couple of gears. Okay. Uh, a little longer axle. Okay. And uh, a retainer. So the first thing so we're going to do. the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the wheel off. Okay. And then we're going to uh, loosen this thumb screw that attaches the servo. Okay. And we're going to pull the servo out and actually just reverse it. Okay. So we're going to flip it right back this way and get our bushing out here. Put it back in. So it's not really a very big change, is no, it? No, it's a minor change. Okay. We thumb screw back in and just hand tighten that one. Okay. And then we're going to attach. Uh, a large gear. So okay, so instead of the wheel directly on the servo, we're putting the gear on the servo, right? Gear on the servo. Okay. Now, we take a stop collar. Okay. And put it on this 90, this uh, longer it's an 80 axle. Mi the 80, 80 millimeter 80. axle, right? Put a bushing on that. Okay. And put that back in front location here. Get our bushing on. The bushing's there to provide a little bit of, uh, a little bit of support. support and actually make the, the rotation a little easier, right? Right. Okay. And there we go. Awesome. Didn't take quick, long at all, did it? Change. Yeah. And we, now we've got a much faster now robot. Now we've got one that'll move faster. And if we, wanna, if we want to then experiment with slowing it down, we can switch places with those gears. We could reverse those. And, and yeah. there's no spacing difference because you're just changing location where those gears are. And and the the set screws make it convenient if the if the, you drive slow. Yeah. You can actually count the number of times you can see those those uh, set screws right there that hold them hold the axles in place. You can count how many times they go around. So right. You, so you can mathematically determine how long, how many rotations it takes to cover a certain distance. Right. And from the, 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 the teacher's perspective, the kids see immediate cause and effect, right? Just right. by sw simply switching those back and forth. What are some of the other changes that you, you probably would recommend in some of the activities that would impact how this robot behaves? You can also, uh, with a little bit of work, you can change the, this pivot location back here okay. and put a gear on this. Okay. And you'll have to move your battery around a little bit, switch your motor around, and you can gear drive the steering on this so that instead of having direct steering, it uh, is a gear reduction. Right. And we or also maybe could change the, the, the width of that, that as well, and, and that would and impact that, performance, wouldn't and it? And it impacts the turning radius. Gotcha. The biggest, the biggest uh, trouble you have with turning radius is when this will turn so far, it'll, it will uh, it'll hit the battery brackets uh -huh. and hit the main beam. And it, it gets a little out of balance. Okay. So one of the things that when you're building a robot, you need to make sure that you can maintain balance. Okay. So those are all good, really learning opportunities for the teacher and the kids, right? Yes. Awesome. So there you go. That was uh, just kind of a quick uh, demo of how easy it is to modify the wheelie bot. Hope you enjoyed that, and hope that gives you maybe some ideas and tips and on how to use this in in your particular classroom or or after school club. So again, thanks for joining us. Enjoy building those robots and come back and see us.